Well, it all happens at once. The picture's canceled, France leaving from New York. Everything's finished. Yeah. Well, it's up to you to tell Judy the bad news. Huh? Why me? Well, you got us into this, didn't you? Hello, Mr. Carson. Uh huh. Who's that? Her name's McLaughlin. She lives there, too. Gee, I, I don't know what to say to Judy. Hi, Judy. Well, what do we eat? We'll have dinner in about five minutes. Come on in. Yeah. Go ahead, Dennis. No, no, you go ahead. Yeah. Grace is out getting the dessert. Well, have you talked to the studio? Uh, uh dinner. That, that reminds me of a joke. One cannibal said to the other cannibal, what's cooking in the big pot? Yeah, and the other cannibal says dinner. So the first cannibal says, anybody we know? <laughs> So the first cannibal says, anybody we know? <laughs> <laughs> but have you talked uh, to the studio? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, the studio, huh? They loved you. What about Mr. Trent? Uh, oh, you really sent him. <laughs> Look, I know I messed it up. But as long as you have faith in me, I won't stop trying. I want you both to know I'm not discouraged. Not a bit. Why don't you tell her the truth? She thinks she's still got a chance. Didn't have the heart. Why didn't you tell her? Well, I got a heart too. But right now it feels like a lump of pot cheese and sauerkraut. Hmm. Mr. Jeffrey Bushnickel, Gerke's Corners, Wisconsin. Don't read Judy's mail. Well, I'm not, but at least I can see where it's going, can't I? Blow on it. You might steam it open. Huh? Oh, hello, Grace. I. I'm just weighing it to see if there was enough postage on it. <laughs> if you want to know what's inside, it starts off with Dear Jeffrey. Yeah, we, uh, we figured that out ourselves. Well, what you didn't figure out is the rest of it. I don't have to open that letter. Four score and seven years ago, I wrote the same one. I could have gone back to my hometown and married a guy who was crazy about me. But no, I wrote him and said I chose a career instead. Hm, some career. Lettuce and tomato on rye, hold the mayonnaise. Yeah, but this is different. Judy's got talent. We'll figure out something. Why don't you two stop giving her that hokey routine? She likes this Jeffrey Bush Dinkle, and he likes her. I like Judy, too. Oh, I like her very much. From what I've gathered, Jeffrey wants to marry her. Yeah, but we can see that she gets fame and fortune. You've got to make her go back home. Oh, we can't do that. I tried that once. Well, of course she won't leave as long as she thinks Hollywood is wonderful and you two guys are knights in shining armor doing everything to help her. If we could make her think we're really a couple of heels. Oh, now, Dennis, how could we possibly do that? Hey, that redhead. Who do you mean? The one that lives downstairs. You mean Irene McLaughlin? Yeah, you can help us in this, Grace. Well, sure, anything you say. Now, look, here's what we'll do. Yeah? Dennis and I will go downstairs. And when we get down there... Ah, the cafe rendezvous. Where are Dennis and Jack? Well, they just stepped down to the patio for some fresh air. Plenty of fresh air in the balcony. Well, they wanted it perfumed a little. What do you mean? Shh, I hear them now. We can get you in pictures. Oh, you can? Why, sure. The producer and I are just like that. Oh, Mr. Carson, it sounds too good to be true. You've heard the story a thousand times. Star steps out of picture. Little country girl takes her place. Little country girl becomes big star. Your name in lights, houses, cars. Oh, it sounds wonderful. But how do I know you're telling me the truth? The truth? If we're not, may we never see the light of day again. What, Judy? I'm sorry, but I wish it had landed on you. And I thought you were both so wonderful. The next man who tells me he can get me into pictures, I'm going to slap him right in the face. I'm taking the next train back to Gerke's Corners. Well, how does it feel to be a nice guy? <laughs> Awful. <laughs>